CrowdStrike shares up 17% in the past month. The company recently unveiling its newest AI tool, a generative AI bot named Charlotte, aimed at helping customers with cybersecurity. Stock finished higher today as well. Joining us now, George Kurtz, CrowdStrike CEO and co-founder. George, great to have you on the show. Talk to me a little bit about Charlotte, um, the details of this bot that you've rolled out, and why and why now? Sure, great to be here. And uh, when we think about Charlotte, we're really excited about this because it's it's way more than a bot. It's really a virtual security analyst and a, a SOC operator, if you will, security operations center. Uh, and it takes the collective knowledge of what CrowdStrike has been doing over the last decade, and it basically empowers our users to be able to leverage that knowledge, ask questions, get deep expertise uh, from our AI that we've harvested over the last 10 years. And really, the end goal is to stop breaches faster, drive down cost, and create operational efficiencies for our customers. It's in private beta right now. I've seen it. I'm pretty uh, impressed and amazed by what we've been able to put together, and we're excited to get it to market. How quickly is it cutting down? I realize it's in beta, but how quickly is it uh, realizing these results? Well, when we think about what a, a security analyst does, and let's just maybe take you through uh, a quick example. Um, someone comes in the morning, they, they may look at, you know, our console, they may look for some alerts and may try to figure out, you know, what's happening, get situational awareness, look at security intelligence, write reports, you know, that could take an analyst a full day to kind of go through their workflow to track things down and sort things out. Obviously, we have to protect uh, these things in real time, but when you go through the details, it can be laborious. So we think that a day's work is going to be cut down to five or 10 minutes with Charlotte AI to be able to actually do all of that work for you. Understand what the threats are, how they might apply to your environment, take any remediation steps, even write a report for your boss. That may take somebody a day, it's going to take us five or 10 minutes. Hey, George, it's John Ford. Good to see you. Um, the, the bad guys are using AI, too, right? And that's creating more threats, probably more, um, you know, moderate uh, quality threats that would have been low quality before. To what extent is a tool like Charlotte that it sounds to me is going to raise the level uh, of response and protection perhaps more quickly than you would have been able to in the past. How, how much is that going to counter the AI that's being used to attack? Sure, and it's something that uh, we've been dealing with in the security industry for some time. Uh, as you probably know, CrowdStrike, it, it was founded on AI 10 years ago. Uh, generative AI is just a new, newer technology that we're employing. But when we think about adversarial AI, the adversaries have been using AI to try to defeat systems that are out there uh, across the board in security. We see it all the time. And really, what we're, we're focused on now and what we think generative AI will do is really compress that time frame from the discovery of some exposure to the exploitation of it. And that used to take days or weeks, you know, it may take hours now, it may take minutes with generative AI. The second piece of that is it actually democratizes this uh, small community of experts who can exploit these vulnerabilities, like Patch Tuesday comes out with Microsoft, those, those vulnerabilities get exploited. So the ability to compress that time to minutes rather than hours or days is something that is very scary and something that we're tracking closely what the adversaries are working on. And George, d data and real-time data is so important in this cyber equation. At this point, uh, across different companies, certainly in the U.S., but you can go global if you want. Is there enough shared re real-time knowledge about the nature of attacks so that you and others can use AI to respond more quickly? Well, I think, there, I mean, there's sharing mechanisms uh, like something called the JCDC, which is comes out of the U.S. government. Those are great. But in terms of how systems work, and this is one of the benefits of CrowdStrike, the crowdsource in, in, in the name, CrowdStrike, we've been doing this for over 10 years. And what's important is, and John, you'll hear a lot about data advantage, how much data organizations have. We collect 7 trillion data points a week. That's great. But the, the, the beauty of what we've done over the last 10 years is it, we have human validated content. We have something called Falcon Overwatch, which is our managed detection and response service. And we've been able to validate these attack chains for the last 10 years where our competitors haven't. They've created software, but now in order, as you've probably seen with chat GPT, you have to be able to validate the results or you get what's called a hallucination, which is a wrong result. So that human validated content for 10 years is a huge barrier to entry and a data mode for us. And we think that's going to be a, a real advantage for us in terms of the data wars and training these algorithms.